Hey everyone, Mr. Browning M1911 here again today and outside on a nice beautiful day and I have well another MRE review to do and this time we're using a different lens on the camera so hopefully this works out really well uh, I have a comparison review to do today and what I'm going to do is here I have menu number 9 beef stew from 2010 Okay, 2010 one's going to go there. And then I have another one here, menu number 9, beef stew, from 2014. The reason I'm doing 2010 and 2014 is to see the differences between the two in just four years. Now, one difference I can clearly see is the outside bag. The outside bags are, I mean, they look similar, but the material utilized is different. Of course, the 2010 still uses the old style plastic kind of feeling bag. The 2014 has more of a rubberized uh, feel to it. And it's just completely different. Plus, this one is a lot more shinier. I don't know if you can see the shine on there. All right. Well, let's just go ahead and open up here and see how the beef stews are similar and how they are different. Okay, well, there's our 2010, okay, and now our 2014. Both bags open very easily. Okay. So what we're going to start here is with the 2010, get our crackers, our accessory packet, flameless ration heater, and our hot beverage bag, one MRE spoon, now we get some peanut butter in this one, okay, and here we get another dairy shake, French vanilla cappuccino, okay, it's not a dairy shake, I apologize, it's a French vanilla cappuccino. Hey, we get apple jelly, so we get to make a sandwich out of the crackers. And what is this here? Lemon poppy seed pound cake. That ought to be really good. And then our beef stew. The design on the back of all the nutritional value is different. So, show one guy walking away from the MRE. Garlic mashed potatoes. Oh, that, that seems to, that might come out really good. All right, let's take a look at the 2014 multi-grain snack bread. That's not crackers. Our accessory packet. Flameless ration heater. And one viewer uh, called this the Hot Pocket Pouch. I didn't think about that, but they do kind of look a little similar to the Hot Pocket pouches, so here's our Hot Pocket pouch. We get grape jelly in this one, peanut butter. Now this is interesting. Look at that. I got two <laughs> MRE spoons. Wow, that's interesting. I don't know if I've ever seen that. Neither have I. Two MRE spoons. Chocolate hazelnut cocoa beverage powder. Interesting. I'm gonna see that one. Plus, for the hot drinks, I already got my hot water here, but I'm gonna use different cups here for the hot stuff. Okay. Um, nut raisin mix. Here we are again with the honey mustard and onion pretzels. Those were uh, Backwoods Bob's favorite last time. And then. Of course, our beef stew. Okay. So, let's go ahead and move these main meals out of the way for now. And we'll go through the accessory packets and see what the differences in the accessory packets in just four years are. <clears throat> Backwoods Bob brought his dog over here today. So, his name is Remington. So, if you hear him, 
he just wants attention. Here we got Tabasco sauce. Our napkins, moist towelette, iodized salt. Ah, iced tea lemon drink. So there's our drink in that one, and then our chewing gum. Here for the 2014, and the date code on that one, 4073. Okay, it's this big white one here. Ah, pepper sauce. So here are the two differences. Tabasco sauce in the bottle, pepper sauce in the sachet. And then our beverage-based lemonade. This is the sugar-free one. More napkins. Iodized salt, moist towelette, and our cinnamon gum. All right, let's go ahead and uh, get our stuff going here. Ah, I actually put the 2010 stuff over there. Wind is starting to kind of pick up. Date code on the mashed potatoes garlic is 0074, 2010. So the difference is, as you can clearly see already, like the 2010, I get a beef stew and mashed potatoes. In the 2014, all I get is the beef stew. Uh, crackers in this one, multi-grain bread in this one. Some differences, but not too many. Hopefully this video doesn't go too long, and I hope you can hear me because it is starting, the wind is starting to pick up here. And we have C-17s and C-130s flying around again. I'm waiting for the F-A-18s to start flying around. Hey, what is it, Remington? And there goes Remington there, he's already starting to speak. <laughs> Get you in there. And you can get in there. I think preparation is really <laughs> the longest part of these videos. Okay, there we go. Alright, let's get some water in there and get that one heating up. There we go. That was just a little too much water there. My fault. Oh yeah, I can already hear that thing heating up. Kind of wish it around. You know, they don't have the butter buds in this one. Sometimes with the pota mashed potatoes, they have those little packets of butter buds. I don't really have to utilize the hot beverage bags today because I have a thermos here with hot water in it. Okay. And we'll get our hot pocket thing in here. If they'll fold in. Sometimes this thing doesn't pull in very well. This one's even heating up really fast. Wow. Okay. Where's the heater part? Okay, it's on that side. Okay, there we go. There we go. 
All right, that one's heating up pretty good. Okay, there we go. Well, let's go ahead and make up our cappuccino. goes Remington again. What kind of dog is Remington again? He's a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. That's a lot of words right there. There are no notches on this. I had to use my teeth. Okay, French vanilla cappuccino instant powder. All right, pour this over here so I don't end up spilling hot water all over myself. Ow! I spilled hot water all over myself. Okay, this bag does not want to open properly. There we go. Ooh, not too close, Remington. Remington. be enough. I think it's up to the fill line. No, that's not up to the fill line. There we go. That's up to the fill line. Okay. Ooh, that's nice and hot. Take out our cups here. Might need some help from an assistant here. Oh, that smells really good. Okay, there's that part. Let's go ahead and do the uh, chocolate hazelnut. This one doesn't even have any notches on it either. That smells really good. The powder itself looks a lot like orange powder instead of some kind of... cappuccino powder or hazelnut or whatever. But it does smell good. This smells really good. Mm. Wow, that's hot. That's real hot water. Okay. I think I put a little too much water in this one here. Okay, let's take a look at our lemon poppy seed cake. This actually looks pretty good. And look at that. Oh yeah. That, oh, that smells really nice. Let's take a look at our crackers here, see if we can hear the... Uh, I didn't hear any vacuum seal, but uh. mm, they do smell st st uh, a bit stale. Okay. All right, let's take a look at the multi-grain bread here from 2014. Mm. I know. Let's take these cups out of the way here. Raisin nut mix. Smells okay. Okay. <coughs> and our honey mustard onion pretzels. I don't know if anybody has seen the last 2014 MRE that I did and it had the uh, the honey mustard onion pretzels 
and they did turn out pretty good. Go ahead and put some peanut butter on the crackers here. Oh yeah, those those meals are heating up really nice. Mmm, that's good peanut butter. And we have the apple jelly. There he goes. Try to make a sandwich out of it here. Again, I'm not a very big fan of apple jelly. Here goes the lemon drink, the lemon tea. Like I said, it's just about the prep time for all this. going to do it. The sugar-free lemonade. Just to try it. So we got lemon tea and lemonade. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at our meals. First, the 2010. There he goes. You don't like cars with booming stereos. Mm. And then this one here. Wow, these things heated up really nice. These things heated up really nice. Okay. Wow, okay. Paper does not want to come out under normal conditions. All right, we'll just dry off all the uh, Fluid from the heater. Wow, these are nice and hot. I'm amazed that those heaters still work really good. Looked like an IROC Z that just went by. All right, let's take a look at the first beef stew from 2010. Oh, look at all that color. Oh, that is nice. That, that has got some color to it. Look at that. Oh, yeah. You can see the potatoes, the peas and carrots, the beef, just everything. All right, let's see how the mashed potatoes look. I do kind of like to mix my mashed potatoes with my beef stew. It's kind of cool. Ooh, this bag did not rip open very well. And the mashed potatoes. Um, yeah, about that. If anybody's ever seen the old 1980s omelet in the MREs, that's what these potatoes almost look like. And one of my <laughs> two <laughs> MRE spoons. Do you get a prize? Do you end up getting two spoons in your MRE? Now that 
It looks entirely different. There is actually a lot more color. If uh, I can get my cameraman to zoom in. Let's see. He's going to turn it the other way, I think. Yep, there you go. Just kind of zoom in. Oh, great, perfect. The sun has just gone down. So yeah, it looks like a lot more beef in that one. Yeah, in this one here? Yeah, in the yeah. 14. Yep. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and try the crackers, even though they, they do smell kind of stale. So, oops. Ooh. I'm getting apple. Oh, man. <laughs> this cracker just... Oh. That was not what I wanted, but apparently it's what I got. Well, let's go ahead and just look at these. These crackers are... Yeah. They are really stale. Wow. For only being six years old, that's really stale. Okay. What I'm going to do here is open up the iodized salt. I'm going to try the potatoes first. See how they taste. Got a little bit of beef stew there, but that's okay. There you go. Oh, well. You definitely don't taste any garlic in it anymore. Um, but unfortunately, the potatoes, they taste like that omelet from the 1980s. They're, mm, they're really bland. Let's try our beef stew. Look at those big chunks of beef in there. Mm -hmm. Well, our natural lighting is uh, coming in, and I just saw a really weird animal over by my truck. Uh, hmm. The beef stew is bland. Let's go ahead and put some some Tabasco sauce on there. Let's go ahead and put some on the, on the potatoes. And we're going to put a little bit of salt. Oh, man, I just spilled my salt all over the table. Well, like they say, a little bit over your shoulder. Okay, let's try it with hot sauce and salt. See if that improved the taste of the potatoes. No. It did not improve the taste of the potatoes. But it did improve the taste on the beach too. Let's go ahead and try this one over here. Man, look at all the color in there. All the different. Hmm. Wow. The 2014 has really good flavor. I don't even need to put salt on it. But let's try this pepper sauce. Potatoes. Look at those potatoes. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad. Let's try the multi grain. Wow. Ooh, pardon me. Throw you some peanut butter on there. Oh, that iced tea tastes horrible. Mm, let's try the lemon drink. And that tastes, oh God. Let's have some of that hazelnut cocoa. Mm, that, that tastes really good. 
Mmm, tastes good. Warm. <laughs> we have a woodpecker out here again. <laughs> and he's making a new home. Let's go ahead and try. Get some peanut butter on here. Hmm. That's good peanut butter. And we'll use some peanut butter there. It doesn't really enhance the flavor of the multi grain bread. I really don't like it. Poppy seed, lemon, pound cake. Mmm, that is really good. That would be great for dunking into either one of these. Mm -hmm. Okay, overall. Oh. Overall, though. Both meals were very good. Let's try some nuts and raisins. Mmm. Now, the nuts and the raisins do not taste stale at all. You got some almonds in here. A couple macadamia nuts. They're really good. Remington's eyeballing me. All right. Let's see how the gum is from. 2010 peppermint flavor. Wow, in six years, that is no longer gum. It just fell apart in my mouth. And see how the 2014 looks. Stays together, has good texture. It's good. Oh. Okay, so overall, between the two, you get a side dish in the 2010, you don't get a side dish in the 2014. Mm -hmm. Remington's underneath there for some reason. Um, you get a cake in here, but you know, you don't really get a dessert in this one here. So overall, I would say from 2010 to 2014, we've got a C-17 flying over again. Uh, I would say they went with less items in the 2014 than they did with the 2010, but the items in the 2014 seem to have more flavor um, than the 2010. I want to say thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this comparison between the 2010 beef stew and the 2014 beef stew. This is Mr. Browning M1911 in Remington. Out.